Right, hello. Uh, someone, not me, is using a strange font here. I don't know why, but I don't like it. Anyway, we're talking about subtracting decimals. And subtracted decimals is very, very, very important. Don't forget it. OK, uh, it's important for things like money. There you go, money. It's important for money because you need to be able to calculate change to make sure nobody's cheating you, right? So you might need to subtract decimals because decimals and money go together. All right, it's also important for things like uh, measurement of things. Like you might be measuring a running race or you might be measuring something with a ruler. And you're often measuring things in centimetres, for example, or you're measuring time in seconds and they go into decimals. And you might need to make some calculations and that might involve subtraction or addition. Now I have to say I'm pretty mad this morning because this ruler has covered up my face. I'm going to draw myself back in here. There we go, nice nose, little mouth looking slightly aggravated and a bit of hair. There we go. Okay, we're going to start with some uh, some a very simple decimal subtraction, okay? And the numbers we're going to deal with, so this might be uh, times or it might be... Uh, quantities like this might be in kilograms so I'm going to start with 4.1 minus 3.2 it's very simple you might even be able to do that in your head but it does involve carrying so let's be careful all right so we say one from two we can't do that so we're gonna to have to borrow from this four okay so the four becomes a three that becomes an eleven two from eleven is nine don't forget the decimal point in the same line, same column as the other decimal points, and 3 from 3 is 0, so the answer to this is 0 0.9. Okay, let's do a slightly more tricky one, so let's imagine that we've got, uh, this might be money now, uh, 16 pounds and 53 pence, so that's 16.53, but we could imagine that as money. Uh, minus 9 pounds 87 so let's say this is your bank account and you originally had £16.53 in it and you've spent £9.87 on some rubbish, I don't know what, maybe, I don't know, some crazy computer game. And we now need to find out how much you've got left in your bank account. So, uh, 3 from 7 we can't do, so that 5 has to become a 4 and that 3 becomes a 13 because we've borrowed 10 from that tenths column and uh, we therefore have 13 minus 7 which is 6 4 minus 8 we can't do that either so we're going to have to borrow that from there that becomes a 5 uh, it's not a very good 5 is it anyway uh, that becomes a 14 and 8 from 14 is also 6 so this is 66 pence because it's after the decimal point. We'll put the decimal point in, same column. Um, well, 5 minus 9 we can't do, but 15 minus 9 we can do, and it's 6. So if we were talking money, the, um, <coughs> the final version of this would be £6.66 is what you've got left in your bank account. All right, and finally, let's, um, let's say we're looking at two times in a race. So uh, the first person finishes the uh, race in 68.92, and we'll say that's seconds. Okay, I'm going to just put it there because I don't want to get in the way. And um, the second person finishes in 53.47 seconds. So if we want to see how much this second person, uh, how much the winner won by, then, for example, if this person here is um, finished in 53.47, because she's pretty quick, and this one, f this guy, finished in 68.92, we want to know the difference between them, okay? So it's 68.92 minus 53.47. So we're going to have a go at that. And um, here we go. So we can't do 2 minus 7. We need to borrow from the 9, which becomes an 8. And that 
becomes a 12. So 12 minus 7 is 5. Uh, 8 minus 4 is 4. Uh, 8 minus 3 is 5. And 6 minus 5 is 1. So the kind of conclusion here, the thing that we could write, is that the winner was or the winner won by 15.45 seconds. Okay, a few things to remember. Uh, keep these things small, these little things small, these ones. Don't like that one. These things small, so that you can identify them from others. Draw your lines straight, oops, and make sure that your decimal points line up. This is not bad. They all line up. They all line up. Okay? And never use red on a green background. Doesn't work.